Hello frenzies, welcome to a second attempt at a bi binder organization video. This is my second time trying to do a binder video. The first one was just like my face and then me trying to like hold the binder up and the glare was horrific. So we're gonna do it this way. Um, also I'm learning angles. I bought a tripod, but I don't know angles. So if this is a horrible attempt, bear with me, please and thank you. Also quick little disclaimer, um, I this is only a Stray Kids haul and like binder collection. I don't collect any other group at the moment that may change, but for now I only collect Stray Kids. You can enjoy my tattoos. Uh, in this video because my nails are horrific. Anyway, and I only collect five out of the eight members. That does not mean I like any members in Stray Kids any less. I'm OT8 all the way. I just don't collect OT8. If that is very upsetting to you, I'm very sorry. I am an adult with my own money and I collect who I want to collect. And if it is very upsetting to you, like I said, if you would like to help me, uh, collect OT8, then my Instagram DMs are always open if you would like to donate to the collection. So this is my old binder. It's just ugly navy blue. I talked about it in the last uh, like binder organization video and I'm just going to quickly show you like what's in this binder and then we're gonna I'm going to show you what we're moving these things into and other future plans, right? Okay. So, oh, first of all, look at this beautiful keychain. Like two of my friends got me this and then all of these little like adorable keychains as well for my birthday this year and I love it. So this goes in my binder all the time. And the way I have my binder organized, I'm so sorry about the glare there, is it is by album and then by oldest to youngest of who I collect. So like we have five star, Bang Chen, Lino, Chan Bin, Han, and Sung Min. Those are the members I collect. And then it goes into like Maxiden and this and that. So you'll also notice these of like ones that are that are coming and ones that I'm missing. Barnes and Noble exclusive here. These are from Mondu Deco. Also, these black sleeves are from Mondu Deco. But I have, you know, I have Maxiden. What other albums are in here? Just a moment. I don't remember. Oh, Ordinary. Um, this is like a random page of like things I'm working on. Like these are going to go into a different binder that I don't have yet because I asked for it for Christmas. So these are just like kind of randos. Uh, no easy, no easy is the other one I have in here. And then I have, this is like the only OT8 set of anything that I have because it was the Stray Kids third gen membership. Need to cover the card in the middle, I think, because it has my name on it. But other OTA set of, uh, I think it was is replay and then these are all like a bunch of really cute freebies that I've gotten through like trades and stuff let me show you the other ones look look how darling some of these are so I want these in another binder that I also don't have and then these are like large inclusions that are also going to go in a completely different binder but like you know the mini posters and like the postcards and everything are here today we are going to be moving album Stray Kids photo cards into this Madu Deco binder and oh things are falling out and I love this for Stray Kids their newer albums because like the black with the like little compass symbol is perfect also this was a second sale from Madu Deco and this is like the first thing I ever bought and I was like oh my god there's like very like few scuffs you can barely tell it's a second um and then I <laughs> opened it and the d-ring I think are backwards so think that might have been why it's a second and I also have these double-sided and single-sided four pocket pages I can't even remember the word four pocket pages that are going to go in this binder and I have this that I'm going to put in the in the beginning here the d-ring so that my cards don't get that <laughs> don't get the little mark this is very awkward for me to film so if you hate this I'm so sorry I'm like kind of struggling because I don't know how to film this so I'm going to close this up because what's going to happen is I'm going to oh sorry I'm going to close this up because what's going to happen is I'm going to re-sleeve all of these get the binder set up and then start putting them away because we have cards to put away today let me show you this is my little photo card haul that I have been like, I've been doing this for like a month. Like everything that's come in that I've like bought and everything I've been saving up because I knew I wanted to do a binder video. So a bunch of mail just came today as well. We have all of this stuff to, to put away. 
and these are like more of those special cards from the Japan pop-up store. So these are going to go away in the navy blue binder and all of these are going to go away in the new black binder. And then when I have the other binders that I asked my friends for for Christmas, I'll do another video if I get them for Christmas. Anyway, you'll see more binder organization videos because like I said, I want all of the binders, all of the ones like the box ones with the magnetic closure from Mondu Deco. And I have the black one and a light blue one. And the light blue one is going to be for older Stray Kids albums when I start collecting them. Because I feel like that fits baby Stray Kids and this like the black one fits new rock star. Ha 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 for the album. Oh, also I'm filming this before the comeback, even though this is coming out after the comeback. Because I was going to wait, but I was like, I don't think I'm going to have time. Let me just film it beforehand. All right, let me get everything sleeved and I'll be back to you soon. <laughs> it took so much longer to organize everything than I thought it was going to and I'm losing daylight, but everything is now officially sleeved in the Mondu Deku sleeve that I want to put in this binder. Also, I feel like I don't need to say this, but I'm not sponsored by Mondu, Mondu Deco. I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> I don't know if I need to say that, but I feel like I should. Let me just get all the all the ones we need for Bang Chan. Cause it's oldest to youngest. And I might I might change the way I organize this. I might organize it um by like oldest album to newest later, but for now it's newest album to oldest in this binder. But I think when I start the blue one of like the old, uh, like the older Stray Kids albums, it's going to be like first album to like latest. Does that make sense? Uh, let me also get my Bang Chan like missing ones. So I'll, let's do the Bang Chan set together and then we might do some <laughs> like cutting. I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. Now I know I want it. I know some of these like I know these ones are like album PCs and then I know I have like Digipack and ones that aren't. So to me that doesn't matter. To me I'm not necessarily doing it by like album PCs versus like special ones that like Digipack and like the Soundwave Lucky Draw. I'm just gonna do ones that are like the five star era basically but then like the ones from like their Japanese pop-up store like that's a pop-up store. It's not necessarily in the five star era. Like if I was collecting like concert ones like their pilot fan meeting it wouldn't go in like these. It would go in one of the other binders that I'm hoping to get for Christmas because it's good. Like I'll explain it later. If I do like different binder videos and like hauls and stuff at any point, I'll explain the reasoning for it. So for now, let me do this. It's just the way I want my cards to look because I know which ones I want to look at the most. So this one, I'm so sorry for the glare. I'm still trying to figure out my camera angle. So I want like these. I have to like off here, hold on, let me see if I can show you. Off to the side here, I'm trying to map out like how I want each page. <laughs> I think I know how I want them planned out. So I think, yeah, I think we're gonna do this. So let me put these in. So then when these cards, when I'm able to buy them and get them in the mail, the Soundwave Lucky Draw where they're wearing like the cute like red like Letterman jackets, they'll go in here. And same thing when I get the Everline one. Good plan, me. Oh, now you can see, <laughs> now you can see the planning. I think for now, the way I have them organized, like, makes sense. But I have a feeling I'm going to get confused when I do the other albums. I really should have, like, done all this planning and, like, setting up the binder and re-sleeving anything. Oh my god, if I can open this <laughs> before I started filming. But I don't know. I thought it just, I don't plan ahead very well. Yeah, I like was I've been like collecting, not collecting. That's not the I mean, yes, collecting. But um I've been like, you know, getting mail and buying photo cards and stuff and like trading uh since like the end of September because I've been like really trying to get five star done. And obviously I wasn't like 100% concerned about getting it done before the new album came out because this is being filmed being filmed before the new album kit comes out, but it's going to be posted after like me doing an album unboxing. So I really clearly wasn't very worried about, let me get all Alino. Give me just a moment. 
I clearly wasn't very worried about getting it all done like before the new album, but I, what was I trying to say? I don't even know what I was trying to say. I don't know. I lost my train of thought, but I'm going to obviously be like doing this for Rockstar and like I'm, oh, you know what it was? I was, I only pre-ordered one Rockstar album and I like obviously am going to be buying you know, like the Target exclusive, like the Target versions to get like the Target exclusives, ideally the Barnes and Nobles to get the Barnes and Noble exclusives. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to see what like the other pre-orders and stuff look like or like what the other benefits look like. Sorry, I just need to double check what order I decided all of a sudden. Um, I'm going to like see and I'm going to wait until like all of the other benefits get revealed that's what I'm trying to say to you but I'm so distracted because I'm trying to read and I'm trying to organize at the same time because I don't know I feel like at first with five star I got like really really excited and I had like the biggest wish list ever and I don't regret anything that I ended up like buying and trading for at all but I feel like in the beginning I got just like it was like the desperate need to like collect because this is my new like hyper fixation and it's my new hyperfixation, so like, you know, it's it's the excitement. It's like the wanting to collect so, so bad, but then my wish list was so big and I was getting so frustrated because I feel I felt like I wasn't like getting anything done and I wasn't like doing it the right way or like, you know what I mean? There's no wrong way to collect, but I felt like I wasn't doing it the right way and I was getting so frustrated, but like, it's fine. It's not that deep, Heather. And it was because everything was like coming out, coming out, coming out. And I was like trying to go with it at the same time and not just like wait and see what all the reveals were for the benefits. So I'm going to wait for the benefits this time. Which one is the Target exclusive? It's that one. That's the Target exclusive. I also already goofed this. This is this one. No! Oh my god, no! <laughs> I goofed it even worse! This one goes here. Oh, Lino, I'm so sorry that this one got all messed up. Uh, this one goes here. Yes. <laughs> you know what it is, too? It's trying to film and, like, organize at the same time. My brain is just not cooperating. I'm so sorry, Lino. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to do that, like, a million times. You know what? I'm going to say it out loud. This is the one, this is like the personalized digipack where it has like the cool design on the background that's specific to the member. So that one goes on the, oh my God, what did I do? Did I put the wrong one in here? I put the wrong one in here. Oh, I, <laughs> I messed it up. This only has one side. This is the one that has two sides. Now I have to switch them. Ah, Okay, folks. Okay. I, I did it right. I got it figured out. Lino, I'm so sorry that yours was like the messiest one so far. I feel like Benchen went by so easy and Lino is where I fucked up the most. So here you go. There's uh, that. He's ready. He's all set. We just have to wait for his other cards. Let me just, before I do Changbin, let me make sure. Okay. Yep. <laughs> the right sleeves are in. Again, I should have definitely done, like, this organization before I did anything else. Uh, also, the piles I have are all, like, all over the place. Oh, this is, this is the set. It's, like, the pastel, like, it's, like, uh, round three, I think, of the Soundwave Lucky Draws. And Changmin is the only one I wasn't able to buy in a set. And I'm so upset because I have not been able to find him anywhere. I haven't been able to find him on Poke Market, so I'm like so upset. Nobody's like been willing to trade with me or whatever. So if anybody has Changbin from like this set, please message me on Instagram. Like I desperately want him. I will buy him from you, please. <laughs> it would just look so cute because then I'd have that whole set of them done and it's like probably like my favorite. It's my second favorite like outfit thing that they did for five star the like red letterman jackets being my number one favorite set of outfits but the pastel outfits are my favorite <laughs> and this one's so sad Changbin starts out so sad because we don't have anything for him so my pieces of paper have to go in also I did not print these on like good paper it's literally just like printer paper but I don't I don't know what like what paper do we print these on how do you guys get these printed like 
so nice because I can't figure it out. I don't know what, like, do you use cardstock? What do you use? Because what is the material that, like, photo cards are made of? Somebody tell me. Somebody give me the details. Where's the card I'm looking for? Oh, it's this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should plan it out just like I did with Sean. Maybe that's why my Lino um, one didn't go well. Because I didn't lay it all off to the, I didn't lay it all out on the side. Maybe it would be better if I put in like the ones that I'm missing. Basically, I don't know why I did that in like quotes. Maybe it would be better if I put in the ones that I'm missing. And now the problem is I don't remember which is which. So I need to like peek out the backs of them. Oh, this is, this is Blue Dream Media. So this can actually come out immediately. Perfect. It's funny because I think the first page I'm missing the most of like Changbin out of everybody, but then like the rest of them, I feel like I'm pretty set. Blue Dream Media can be tossed. This one can be tossed as well because this is him. Beautiful. Now I need to like open all these and take out, like take a peek at the back. Cause I don't know, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, you go here. Amazing. I don't know if I said this out loud. I said it in my head like three times since I filmed, started filming this. I don't know if I've said it out loud yet, but I am filming on my phone. So I don't have like a template I can refer back to, to I think you're here to like double check anything. Cause I would love to be able to know what the backs are. Okay, you're over here. One of these is the, the special Digipack one. That's the Target exclusive. Perfect. I would love to have the template to be able to like see the back and see like what card it is without having to unsleeve them just because my memory is also like not great. I think you're the special Digipack. No, you're not. You're that one. Okay. This one. This one's a special Digipack? Really? Yes. For some reason I keep thinking it's this one. Maybe because it's this one. I think of this, I like this one a little bit better than that one. <laughs> if I had to pick one was like the special digi pack, it would be this one. So kind of laying them out ahead of time is what is the benefit here. I don't know why we did it with Bang Chan and then switched it up with Lino. Don't ask me. Also, if you can hear my voice moving weird, it's because my camera is set up and I keep like moving my head around it so that I can see what I'm doing outside of the camera. All righty. I love how I can just like immediately fill in the empty spaces that I have. It makes me so happy. This is such a serotonin boost. It's insane. And I'm a little stressed right now because like I said, I'm filming this and trying to organize. I just dropped so many more cards. Don't know if you could hear that. I'm a little stressed because I'm trying to organize and do this at the same time, but I think I'm actually enjoying myself as well. And I think what's going to happen is I'm going to, maybe I'll go and put in like all of the cards and try to, or like, Sorry. Maybe I'll go in and put in like all of these and try to figure out like the configurations and stuff. And then I'll come back to you when I'm putting in. I already checked these. I knew this one. I got this one. I will come back to you when I'm like actively putting them in. I still feel like it should be like this, but I don't know how to keep it tilted. So it's a little flat because if I tip my camera anymore, you'll see what my tripod's sitting on and I don't want that. <laughs> I dropped all of the cards that go on this page. Hold on. You know what? I can only learn from here, right? Oh no. This is a double-sided one too. This can't be a double-sided page. Uh-oh. Heather doesn't know what she's doing. Okay, I'm sure you can tell by the lighting that we're losing daylight and you can see here how I've like organized things to keep myself together. But uh, we have our Maxident front and back and now we're gonna start filling these in. So not the Barnes & Noble exclusive, but the Polaroid for Lino. This just made the most sense in my head. Ah, I'm throwing paper around. I was trying to like sit here and do it at the same time. And I think if I do another binder video, I'll be much more organized about it. But <laughs> for now, this is how we're doing it. Alrighty, we have these boys. So that's you. And the angles, I'm sure, are like different every time I start recording again. <laughs> I think I'm going to put Ordinary in and I have no easy to put away as well. But I think what's going to happen is I'm going to put Ordinary in and then I think I'll cut the video 
and then we'll do like an actual binder like tour and then I'll do like a different haul and organization video at a later date and I think that'll be oh this is the wrong side because I think I understand now how I want things organized and how I want to lay things out and I'll be better prepared next time as well I'm not very prepared this time so I apologize if it's so messy but also if you just like love that I'm messy and disorganized that's good I couldn't get the one out <gasps> it's starting to look so pretty I'm so happy with the four pocket pages I think it is in fact my favorite thing and I definitely don't see myself going back to like nine pocket pages ever after this maybe I say that maybe because it's not nine it's it's eight pocket the meow cafe binders are very cool and I'm thinking because I think they provide the sleeves for like you know how this um I don't know if it's true for all like Japanese photo cards but you know how the stray kids like Japanese photo cards are like longer I don't know why I even tried to do that when I knew it wasn't gonna work I might maybe in the future if I start collecting the Japanese albums as well which I think that's a long-term goal I would like to do I will oh is this where ordinary starts this is where ordinary starts perfect I didn't put in any of my ordinary cards should I should I bother because ordinary is 100% done I think I will just get rid of these but these are like ones that I was missing all of the jewel cases um and I was missing like a couple of the IDs but I think you can see that I have all of them ordinary is done unless at any point I get bored and want to like get rid of the like IDs and like regular album PCs and then get like the jewel cases with like some of the pre-order benefits but I didn't bother looking with ordinary because I was so focused on like Maxinet and five star and no easy no easy I'm definitely gonna do like an overhaul at one point because I have like all of the album PCs and I'm like getting the rest that I needed uh in the mail they're coming and there's like one card for ordinary that I know I like am not gonna get unless I spend a lot of money but I think at some point for no easy I'll go through and look at like the kind of more difficult cards to get like pre-order benefits and like older cards from like uh like Aladdin and like things like that because no easy is my favorite Stray Kids album is that the vibe or is that the vibe I think this is the vibe let me get these put away. I love the jewel cases. I had the hardest time finding Chan and Lino of the jewel cases of Ordinary. Like these two, these two cards specifically were so hard to get for so long. And then I put on my Instagram, if you follow me on my Instagram. No, I already messed that up. If you follow me on my Instagram, I put in like an in search of post and like tagged it and pinned it to my profile and somebody immediately messaged me and they were like, I have Chan and Lino jewel case. Do you want them? So I bought those. <laughs> it was very, very nice. I like wasn't expecting it, but I found it was so hard to get them for so long and I got all the other ones. No problem. Like everybody is selling uh, Chan Bin Sung. Chanbin, Sungmin, and Han. Everyone's selling them. But nobody wants to sell Chan or Lino. <gasps> Pretty. Now Chanbin. Yeah, he, he, Han, and Sungmin came with like my big five-star order that I got today. Did I say already in this video? If I haven't said it, if I said it already in this video, this part will be edited out. Uh, but I made a big order, like a big photo card order from one person on Instagram. I have not been steered wrong by an Instagram stay yet. Etsy, I had some problems with. I had two separate problems with Etsy. They got resolved. No worries. But I have not been steered wrong on Instagram a single time. However, made a big order on Instagram. It was like $150. It was a lot of money of like five star PCs and stuff. And, and like, like I said, a couple of the ordinary PCs and... It was coming from overseas, so already I knew it was going to, like, take a while. Whatever. I think I paid for Tracked as well. Yeah, I definitely paid for Tracked shipping. And I would, like, check on the shipping every once in a while, but it says, you know, in their uh, info on Instagram, like, on their profile, that it takes a while to, for things to ship because it comes from overseas. 
at one point it had like an update on October 15th it had an update and said something but I like didn't really read it didn't really pay attention to it I was like okay whatever like hopefully it'll be here soon because I bought it in <clears throat> I put this one upside down I bought it at like the end of September so when it had an update in October I was like okay cool it'll come in October I'm filming this in the beginning of November I hadn't heard anything about it, hadn't checked. And one day I was like, you know what? Hold on. Let me sit down and actually read what it says. And it was stuck. The package with all my photo cards that I paid like a lot of money for was stuck in New York in like the customs airport, basically. Like the, basically the airport where packages go when they come from overseas. How do I want this order? Probably that because it looks like it's age related. Anyway, it got stuck in like the customs place. It was like in New York or something. And I was like, oh no, it's never going to come. It's never going to come. And then I've had a couple other orders that I've made that like you need to sign for. It's like the little pink slip in the mail that you need to sign for. I didn't think anything of it. And then today, the day I'm filming this, early November, my mom went to the post office with like the paperwork and we got it. And it was, it was my thick my thick order and I was so happy but I was really worried that it got lost in New York in like the customs airport or whatever it's called so I'm so happy that it came today oh my god look at this to be fair a lot of these are double-sided but like what how am I already filling this out so quickly I might need to buy a second black binder at one point all right I still have some pages here and I still have photo cards to put away but I think gonna end the video there this is my new stray kids photo card binder and i absolutely love it uh i will do a different video another day maybe on like a saturday of everything that came in like all the cards that i pulled in my unboxing which you've already seen but i have not seen time is fun i'll put those away and any other like photo card mail will do maybe like another organization video like organization haul video or i'll just do a binder tour if you guys would prefer let me know in the comments which ones you would want to see first haul and organization or tour and yeah thank you for dealing with me in this video i'm so sorry that this is so messy and i'm so confused i am now gonna go have some dinner and finish no easy after i eat and i will see you guys in the next video bye don't know don't know how to wave to you.